not in it. How do I feel? Fantastic. Hi, so welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hamper. First, you'll need a box. And this is just one that I picked up from Aldi's. As you can see from here, it's just one that was from Aldi's. It says $6.99, but it's quite cute. You can keep it and reuse it after. Then we're going to need some tissue paper. So with this tissue paper here, I'm just going to fold it in half and put it into the box. And then I'm going to get another piece of tissue paper and do the exact same thing. Fold it in half and push it into the box. But this time, I'm going to turn it inside out and fold it. So it leaves a much neater bottom for the, the things to go in. Then I have the reed diffuser, which I'm just going to pop in like that. I have some body scrub. I have some body lotion. I have a candle in a box, as you can see. I have a nice Christmassy mug as these are Christmas hampers for people. We're just going to put some body spray, some deodorant in there, which we will put down the side here. And then we're going to put some bath salts in. And then I'm going to put a toothbrush and some nail files. Remember, you can do a hamper at whatever price that you want. It doesn't have to be expensive. As long as you place it nicely and package it properly, it'll look nice. I've then got a foot buffer to go in as well, which is just gonna go in the middle here. And then I have some socks. Again, it's just two pack fluffy socks, size four to eight, and they're going to go in. I'm going to fold these over though, so that all you can see is the fluffiness at the bottom. I then have this Imperial Peach hand soap again makes cute little gift for someone i then have a body puffer that's gonna go in there as well i've got these mm, mini matchbook nail files great for if you need them in your handbag on the go they're gonna pop down there some listerine for your teeth well, mouthwash, should I say. This really, really cute little fresh as a daisy wash bag. That's going to go in there. I'm just going to fold that up nice and neatly and place that inside as well. And then to finish it off, I have some bath bombs. Just three bath bombs to go in there for a little bit of decoration. Then you're going to need some ribbon or string, as I'm using currently. Some sellotape. Some scissors. And some cellophane that is already down, as you can see from here. I've already laid my cellophane out already. And this is currently what the box looks like already packed ready to be cellophane and i will put a bow on it eventually just not in this video today because i don't have the bows currently so i'm just going to use this here just to wrap it up so that we can make this look very nice ready for the bow to go on the top and that'll be the finishing thing but this is currently how it looks 
So again, you got your reed diffuser, your toothbrush, your nail files, body scrub, body lotion, deodorant, body spray, bath salts, a foot butter, a mug, very Christmassy as well, some Listerine mouthwash, some Imperial leather hand soap, three bath bombs, a body puffer, a wash bag, some socks, and a candle. To be honest, it's not very expensive to make, quite cheaply made, especially if you grab the things in a sale. If you grab the things while they're in a sale, then of course it's going to be cheaper for you to make. I think in total, this whole hamper alone has probably cost me about £10 to make. So as you can tell, it's really not that expensive. And I'm just thinking the best way to wrap it because I want them at the sides. So I think I'm going to actually turn this hamper around just slightly. Like so. If I've done that correctly, it should in fact. go a bit like this now obviously you can buy the cellophane bag if you want unfortunately my local supply shop was out of stock and we're going into a second lockdown meaning I cannot purchase them so I'm just using cellophane on a roll which I have to cut before the video so that it will all be wrapped and ready to go so this is currently what you want it to look like let me move it a bit forward so you can see and then I'm going to get the string like so if I try and do it one handed like so and then you're just gonna cut that i'm doing this one handedly well not at the moment but normally when making hampers i do suggest if you can't do it on your own do try to have someone around you who could help you is actually tying so that you have it perfect but this is just to show you how I make my hampers because I've had a lot of people ask me how to make things like my rose bears hampers so I just thought I'd give you a quick tutorial on how to do this I hope this comes in handy and now we're just going to, if I can find the edge of the cell that that is. As you can tell, this is my first tutorial on how to do something. I normally just make them, don't think about tutorials. And then, so now, the little bits that are left over, obviously, if you're using a bag, you're not going to have these bits here left out. So you don't need to worry about this. But if you aren't and you're doing it how I am with a roll of cellophane that you cut in, you're just going to want to tuck the edges in. So, just want to cellophane that. Cellotape the cellophane, rather. And then again, up here, try and make it look a bit neat and tidy. Just cellotape that in place. And then we're going to turn around this way. And please be mindful of my craft table, as this is where I do most of my crafting. 
out from. So it has got a lot of things on it. As I did a, a lot of things on my craft table. As you can see, my camera is slightly falling. So I'm just going to try and rearrange it. I've got on my mum. I apologise. I couldn't actually find my camera. Hold up. So I'm trying to do everything a bit to restyle today. So, as you can see, I'm just sellotaping it now. Just to try and make it look a bit nicer. So, once you have finished with your hamper and you've sellotaped it and you're happy with how it looks, this is how it should look. All cellophaned up. Again, you can trim the top here to make it look a bit better. But this is how it should look. Good evening from Washington, where it looks tonight like the... And as you can see, I just pop the lid to the container at the back of the box. Just for a bit of support so it looks nice thank you for tuning in and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if there's anything you'd like to see being made or a tutorial or anything let me know and i will try and make it possible please keep watching over the next couple of months i will be uploading more to show people how to create certain things that people have asked me to create like for example rose bears which is something that people have asked me to show them how i created this so i will be uploading more over the next coming months on how to create things have a good day thank you for watching bye